Hey friends, welcome back to another video. In previous couple of videos, we have talked about, we have like explored how medicine and surgery in Italy is free of cost. And if you are interested in any bachelor's or master's degree, how it's going to be free if you want to study in Italy. So in this specific video, we are going to talk about how it is free, how to avail the scholarship so that your uh, field of interest or your degree can be free. We will talk about all the benefits that this scholarship offers. Basically, we are going to talk about regional scholarship or the scholarship that government, Italian government provides, or it is also known as need-based scholarship that will be according to your sponsors. Whoever going to be your sponsor will be uh, according to his financial conditions. We will talk later in this video. Do not worry about this thing. We are going to talk in very detail about all the requirements. What are the requirements and when the the one applications will open how to apply where to apply and all the benefits that this scholarship is going to cover we will like go into very very detail so before continuing this video let me tell you i am sunny i appeared in ima 2023 and got 46.2 marks currently i'm a second year medical student and on this channel we have explored lots of things about i'm at how to study medicine and surgery in italy and later we will do talk about lots of bachelor degrees and in broader field so if you haven't subscribed to this channel yet consider it so because it's going to be amazing and you follow me on instagram for some amazing contents and also for updates so let's continue this video if you are interested in studying any bachelor or master's degree then you need to get scholarship because that is the first priority that is how your degree is going to be free of course there are two types of scholarship merit based and then there is regional scholarship that we are going to specifically talk about in this video is regional scholarship but for merit based scholarship i will make a separate video what are the requirements how to apply and what the benefits you will get and how to actually get that is very important so i will make a separate video but in this video let's talk about the regional scholarship or need based scholarship so firstly what is uh, this regional scholarship this scholarship is going to be provided to you by the italian government and but there are actually 20 regions in italy just like regions are just like the states in your country now the university that is going to be in that region let's say if that is ergo region the university of bologna is part of that ergo region so if you are interested in university of bologna so you are going to apply for the scholarship on ergo's website and there are like 20 regions so i don't remember them all I will make a blog post. I will actually write the where I will mention all of them. You can check out them. So if you really want to know in which region your university lies, you can just simply Google it or you can actually email your university. They will uh, like say to you, this is the region where you can avail the scholarship. Anyway, let's talk about the benefits of this scholarship. So this scholarship will cover your tuition fee although you will be studying so all the tuition fee uh, like it's uh, somewhere around 1000 to 1200 euros or maybe 1500 euros in between them so that scholarship is going to fully cover them and then your accommodation and then there will be your meals actually that scholarship covers one time meal but there are other benefits as well like transportation discounts and then there are like books discount and there are tons of discounts uh, other discounts available for you but there is going to be isc value that you are going to calculate on your sponsor's income and the lower the like your family income per annum you are going to get more benefit we'll talk about this in later section of this video but now let's talk about when the application for the scholarship is going to open so for this scholarship the applications open somewhere around june june from june this some regions will open in june and some will open in like uh, july august and september september is the month where all regions uh, scholarships are going to close so you have to get the call whenever there is going to be a call you have to avail that you have to read all the requirements that is mentioned and the thing is so you may be confused that what are the specific requirements for uh, maybe uh, if you want to apply for um, lesio disco uh, what are the specific requirements remember this thing i would say do uh, read the requirements from previous year whatever the requirements was mentioned in the previous year i recall you can read all the information from there and you can prepare all the documentation although i'm going to mention what documents you need but there are some regions that can uh, ask for like more or some specific documents you can prepare those documents on time so now let's talk about what are the requirements what documents you actually need uh, for this scholarship first of all there is going to be remember this thing your family income must be less than 24,000 euros per annum if your family income is more than 24,000 euros per annum 
if you showed the documents that i'm going to mention in a while if there is like more income in those documents you will not get the scholarship remember this thing so first document that you are going to need is your family registration certificate family registration certificate or family composition certificate this document the basic purpose of this document is just to um, list all the family members in your family and this now the second document that you are going to need is your property certificate and income certificate these are two uh, documents uh, income certificate is going to be of your um, father or whoever the sponsor is remember this thing in income certificate your income that every all the income will be listed and you can get this document from uh, the uh, income tax revenue whatever the name is like in pakistan it is known as fbr and uh, i think in india it is uh, whatever the uh, uh, external income tax revenue whatever it is uh, you can prepare this document from there and remember this thing some university require uh, like previous year if you are inter if you are applying for 2025 or 2026 that university may that actually region may require the previous year uh, income tax let's say uh, for 2024 that can require so let's say if you are applying for 2025 and that region can demand that you must upload the uh, income tax revenue from uh, let's say 2024 or maybe 2023 some some regions say that so you have to clearly get this from the application call because later you will not get the uh, scholarship if you did not mention all the details correctly now uh, the second thing is going to be a property certificate that property certificate contain must contain all the properties either uh, all the movable assets or the um, assets that your parents own and remember this thing if you are house is on rent you have to mention this in that document as well an important thing i forgot to mention that you must for this scholarship you the first requirement or the main requirement is you must have an admission letter that you are admitted to any university in it uh, it can be pre acceptance letter or if you are like international that can be pre enrollment summary that you must have that if you don't have you will not get the scholarship because that is the first priority if you are not studying in any if you are not enrolled in any university how you are going to get the scholarship uh, anyways uh, that was a like funny part so now if you have got all these documents what you are going to do you will wait for the application call whenever it opens you are simply going you just simply have to there is like nothing to do at all you just have to go to that region website and create your account start filling the application and whatever like they will ask for personal um, information and then the uh, whoever the sponsor is uh, he, they will ask about them and you have to upload the documents whatever they ask you just upload those documents and you will be done that's the simple process not hard but uh, remember this thing you will get those documents and those property certificate and income and all the documents so you will attest those documents from ministry of external affairs or ministry of foreign affairs after this is known as apostle and after the apostle you are going to translate them and you have to legalize them uh, by going to embassy uh, if you are from india or any other country except pakistan if you are uh, like except pakistan if from wherever country you are there will be italian embassy in your country you can go there they will like legalize those documents but for for pakistan the embassy doesn't do that thing so you will have to legalize from uh, italy or italian uh, sorry pakistan embassy in rome or the pakistan embassy in, um, in milan so you are going to the, so you will have to send your documents where they will legalize them and then there will be cof office that is going to put a stamp on that those documents then you are the documents are like acceptable in italy like all the documents are you are verified and uh, like done those are like accurate and then those will appear in your uh, the portal that you have created on italian sorry region website so those documents will appear there and you will be done now you will wait for provisional ranking remember this thing there are going to be two rankings for this scholarship first ranking or you can call that as first ranking or second ranking or provisional ranking or final ranking whatever you call them as let's say uh, i will call them provisional ranking in provisional ranking uh, your name will appear yes or no like rejection or um, availed whatever it is it but if you there is rejection that reason will be mentioned that um, you may be maybe you have uploaded a wrong document or you have not uploaded proper document whatever the deficiency will be there you will be told so you will have to fulfill that in that modification period and 
then you will like resubmit your application and then like after 10 days or 20 days whatever the time period is they will publish the final list and there it will be your um, final name uh, you have to check that if you have availed the sorry scholarship or not so that is all the regional scholarship now the benefit that is going to be uh, given to you is around about 7600 euros uh, something uh, that you will be given but remember this thing these uh, all the payment will not be given you given to you uh, once at a moment that will be given to you in the installments and remember this thing if you are uh, first of all you will be enrolling in your first year so for first year of your any degree bachelor's or master's uh, the whole procedure will be based on your uh, financial condition income but for second year you, what you will have to you will have to perform well in exam not perform well in the exam you just have to pass the exams and there out of 60 credit hours you have to get 30 credit hours and remember this thing if you did not get 30 credit hours your scholarship you will not be given this scholarship in second year of uh, your school whatever the university or whatever i'm medical school so i call it a school so you have to get at least 60% in your exam, 50%, 60% to pass them and then you will be eligible, you can enjoy it. Otherwise, you will have to work like a hell to uh, manage your expenses and all those things. Anyways, you're smart more than smarter than me. I hope I have cleared like uh, tons of information and I have cleared a little bit uh, like roadmap for the region scholarship, how you can do that, how you can avail this. I hope, I hope your queries are clear. If you have got any query, Feel free to mention in the comment. I will try my best to reply or you can email me at samir.samikama.com. If you want me to apply for your scholarship or your application, then I have created a form below on my website where you can go and put the application. I will evaluate your application and I will uh, like reply to you. Or you can simply email me at samir.samikama.com. And important thing, if you have liked this video, then thumbs it up. And the most important thing, I'm going to make a merit scholarship video a little bit very very soon and now if you want to do all your process by yourself from completely a to z specific for medicine and surgery then i have created this video where i have got from pre-enrollment pre-application till the visa what are the like everything that you need that is in this video so go that and watch it that will be highly valuable so thanks for watching see you in next video till bye bye and subscribe this channel bye bye